So analysis of the organic compound, how we can work out or identify the organic compound like halogen alkanes if you want to test the halides. So CP4 means like core practical 4. Hydrolysis of uh, followed by halide test, we can add silver nitrate which will give uh, depend on which halide we have with sil uh, with chlorine, it will give white precipitate, I bromine, yellow, cream precipitate and iodine, it will give yellow precipitate. If you want to test the presence of alkene, then we will add some bromine water and we'll shake and if there is a double bond or uh, is there present, so the color change will occur and it will change from orange to colorless. If you want to test the OH group, like and this OH group is for both, it can be for carboxylic acid or it can be for alcohol. So what we can do, we can add PCL5, we'll observe a misty fumes, the vapors of HCl or we can add sodium metal and we'll observe effervescence bubbles. And this is valid, like this is all test for both alcohol and carboxylic, OH of both, but not for phenol. Phenol is uh, in A2, you will study about phenol. It means it contains the compound which contain a benzene ring and there is a OH that's called a phenol. But right now you don't have to learn anything about phenol. So you don't have to bother about it. So OH, this OH can be for alcohol or it can be carboxylic acid as well. If you want to test the presence of carboxylic acid, because acid, uh, they will uh, have like show a color change with indicator. So we can use an indicator paper or we can add carbonate or hydrogen carbonate. It will give bubbles, phase or effervescence because of carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide gas will turn lime water milky. Then if we want to test aldehyde or ketone, what, what we can do, we can add 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine, that is 2,4, DNP means dinitrophenyl and hydrazine. So, or also known as a Brady's reagent. So, as a result of a Brady's reagent, both aldehyde and ketone will give an orange precipitate. And if it give an orange precipitate with Brady's reagent or 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine, it means that it is aldehyde and ketone. But if we want to distinguish only like it's in a, between aldehyde and ketone, this will give a positive result with both. So basically it's, it's, a, it's a test for carbonyl group or C double bonded with O group, which is present in both aldehyde and ketone. But if we want to distinguish whether it is aldehyde or ketone, we know it is a carbonyl, but so we want to distinguish. So when, then we can use a toline reagent or also known as a silver mirror test. So when we add aldehyde, give a positive result and silver mirror is observed like a layer of a silver, a test tube. When we add this toline reagent to a test tube contain an aldehyde. So as a result, it will form a silver on the surface. So the silver metal will stick to the wall of the test tube and we call that as a silver mirror test. But ketone cannot be oxidized, so it won't change. Then felling or vanadic solution can also be used. If we use felling or vanadic solution, aldehyde will give a positive uh, result and positive test to form a brick red precipitate because aldehyde will be oxidized to carboxylic acid and copper to iron, which are blue in color turned into copper one oxide. Ketone cannot be oxidized, so the solution won't change up color. Then idoform reaction, idoform reactions, if we want to find, this is a test which is used to identify that whether we have a methyl group next to carbonyl group. So if there is a methyl group next to carbonyl group, this is a test which we call the idoform reaction. So what we do, we warm it with iodine and sodium hydroxide, the solution and it will give a yellow precipitate and antiseptic smell will be there. This will give a positive test or positive result if we have a methyl group next to carbonyl. Like example, if we have propanone, propanone means CH3, C double bonded with O or CH3. So next to carbonyl, 
there is a methyl group. So it will give a positive result. But if it was like this, so CH3, CH2, C double bonded with O and H. So this won't give a positive result with idoform reaction will be a negative because this is a carbonyl group. Next to carbonyl, there is no methyl. Methyl means like CH3 group should be there. But the directly CH2 group and H is there. So it will give a negative result with idoform. Al with alcohol also, it can give a positive result. Why? Because alcohol can be oxidized to aldehyde or ketone and that aldehyde or ketone will give a positive result with this idoform. Then alcohol, like if you want to test whether primary, secondary alcohol is there or aldehyde. So we can use an acidified uh, potassium dichromate because primary alcohol, secondary alcohol or aldehyde can be oxidized. But tertiary uh, alcohol or ketones cannot be oxidized. Then a stratification test. Like what we do, we gently warm the alcohol and carboxylic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid and should produce a compound with a characteristic smell, example like pine pineapple, because uh, ether, this uh, esters, when they are formed, they have a characteristic smell or a fruity smell. So we can identify that this reaction has occurred or ester is formed. Then solubility test like to identify how, how the compounds are or solubility of the compound. So compound with the group that can form a hydrogen bond may be soluble in water. Example, amines, amine mean NH2, alcohol, OH, carboxylic acid, C double bonded with O and OH, and they are soluble. Some carboxylic acid may not be soluble in water but they are soluble in alkaline solution due to formation of RCOO ion because the carboxylic acid, they tend to lose acids are proton donors. So they donate their proton as a result when they donate their proton, it will form this ion and this ion because this ion now cannot form a hydrogen bond. So that's why it is not water soluble, but it can mix with sodium hydroxide and same goes with amines. Some of the amines are not soluble in water, but they're soluble in acidic solution because they form an ion as well, like ammonium ion is formed or amine ion is formed, so they can also dissolve. So this was about the test to check the organic compound. So you have to learn or memorize these tests.